Good morning, Average Dude Nation. Welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday, the 7th of February, and today we got a bunch going on. So, first thing I'm doing right now is researching a little bit about a company. It's called Raw Stores. I have a phone interview with them in about an hour or so. So, I'm going to do a little bit of research and just prepare myself for that phone interview. Um, made my coffee, which was necessary. Some of you may or may not know, Matt and I got some stickers made up. We got the Average to Savage, Average Dude TV sticker in gold and black. And then we have the same one in like floral type. This one was definitely a lot more popular. But anyway, we are giving away these stickers to you guys for free. Yes, for free. You don't have to pay at all. All you need to do if you want some stickers, send me your shipping address, your name, and your email. Um, and I'll mail those out to you literally for free. No charge at all. And you guys can give them out to friends, do whatever you want to do with them. Um, you could send that information over to us in a message, a DM, whatever, or you can email us at averagedutv at gmail.com. I'm going to put it again on the screen, averagedutv at gmail.com. Just send us e an email. Yo, like, I saw those dope stickers. Let me get some, and I'll send them out to you. Um, anyway, I'm going to get back to this research a little bit and get prepared for this interview. It's, a, it's in about 45 minutes now, so time to get crack a because I procrastinated. All right, guys, I just finished that phone interview there. It went pretty well, so I'm excited to hear back in the next couple weeks. But anyway, it's about 12 o'clock right now. I have class in about 25 minutes, so I got to get ready to go and get ready for that. To everybody who started class this past week or within the past couple weeks, good luck to you guys this semester. I'm sure you guys will all be killing it as usual. Average donation, always slaying the game. Speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button down below and join Average Do Nation. We're growing every single day. We're going to make it all the way to the top, I promise. So with that being said, I'm going to head out to class right now. I'll see you guys later. I have a call with Matt at about 5.36. So that's where I'll see you guys next. We're going to go over Rebel, talk about that, uh, talk about our progress so far, and we'll see what's happening with that. So I'll see you guys soon. What up, guys? So actually, Matt and I, we're not going to have a call. I'm just going to kind of run you through our progress, where we're at, what we need to do, and all of that. As far as Rebel, there's a couple different products that we're trying to get kind of finalized. So first, um, we're gonna be doing stickers again. It's gonna be the same size as the Average Dude TV stickers, which I believe was six by two. Design's a little bit different. Uh, I'll show you in a second right here. So these are kind of some of the, uh, some of our options here. Personally, I like this one and that one as well just very colorful nice uh then we're gonna get the instagram handle added to the bottom there we're not gonna add the website because well one that's not up yet and two i don't want to pick too much on this sticker i don't want to detract from it i don't want it to be you know it is a marketing piece but i don't want it to be you know too much so just the instagram handle on that and then we're also going to get another one that's going to be similar to the average dude tv floral sticker uh pretty much almost the same different different font but uh, i think we're going to go with the same background so for those who haven't seen it that is going to be this one and then we also have a second sticker we ordered 250 of each of these so the gold as you could see it didn't really come out gold it didn't come out metallic at all it's almost like a kind of like a dark uh i don't even know like a little bit of lighter than copper but I, definitely not gold that we wanted but that's how you learn you you do things, you make some mistakes, you go, oh, shit, that didn't work, I'm not gonna do that again. So definitely from that printer, or even just in general when, get, when getting things printed like this, uh, you know, gold or any metallic type color is not gonna come out. That's something that we know now moving forward. Like I said, we ordered 250 of each. We wanna just flush these out, and Average to Savage is something that's important to us. Here I was just watching our first video from a year ago as we're closing in on a year. We say it then, it's still true, it's something that's always gonna be true, and it just means that you kinda control your own destiny. You could go from average to savage, and all you have to do is just make it happen. No excuses, discipline, which is something that I'm still working on, that I'll probably always be working on, and just do it. Besides that, we're doing two shirts. Uh, we actually had to change up our plan, because what happened was, 
our first design, which I'll show you here. So this was our first design. It's really dope. It's floral, as you can see right there and there. Like the flowers kind of like come out of the box, which I thought was cool. We were gonna do this on uh, white, gray, and black. But as you as you could see, there's like a lot of different colors. And when you're screen printing, which is the way that we want to go, there's a couple different methods. Um, you need to find a special kind of company that has a machine that can handle that many different screens because the way it works is every single screen is a different color. So because there's like a ridiculous amount of different colors and shades in there, we'll need a ridiculous amount of screens, uh, which would make it cost a lot more. And also, you know, if we go with a smaller company that maybe doesn't have the capabilities, uh, there's a chance that it's not going to come out the way we want it because it's going to be like many different layers so that's something that we definitely want to bring out in the future i think it's a dope design it's simple that is called the floral box tee but as of right now we're not dropping that so the second one is a long sleeve in both black and white that's going to be in a metallic gold font color it's not going to be like the really bad shade that that sticker came out it's going to actually be a metallic color and then on the left sleeve on the back of it it's going to say rebel kind of running down it in a very thick um very thick font it's going to be pretty dope so now we needed to make a t to replace the other one because we still want to get a t made up so we're going very simple here we just got our logo made up by emily I'll put her link down below so you can check her workout. She's great. Uh, she does a lot of our logos and graphic design stuff. So she designed our logo for Rebel. Yeah, so we're going to do a Rebel logo tee, basically like that, just the logo dead center in the chest. And we're going to be doing that on a white and I believe a gray. The good thing is originally when we mentioned the price of that floral box, we were going to try to get that out for 20 This one it has a lot less colors. It's a lot simpler to set up. And we got a quote for the T and it looks like we're going to be selling it for like $12 a shirt, which is freaking cheap. We're, we're not doing this to make money. Like, and, and that's a weird thing. It's like, you're not selling products to make money. No, we're not selling it to make money. We're selling these products so that our name can get out. So people could start repping the brand. So people could join average dude nation. People could join the revolution which is going to be uh, one of our slogans as well, join the revolution. And that's what we want to do. We want to make it affordable. We're not really worried about turning a profit so much on these. It's more about making them affordable, selling them, getting the name out, getting the word out. I'm just trying to start this brand from absolutely, absolutely nothing just to show that it can be done. This is the thing. We've had these finalized for like five, six days, and we've just been, I've just been waiting I'm handling like getting the quotes from the printers and I'm gonna take care of all that. Meanwhile, Matt is more kind of building out the website. And like I said in the first video, which I know because I just watched it, you're always just waiting on other people. You know, you would think that these people would move a little bit quicker, but as you'll learn, it's really important about, you know, who you pit on your team. Um, obviously, this isn't something we can control because this isn't really part of our team. It's just a company that we're trying to use. But you wanna make sure that people, they have the same kind of hustle, the same motivation, the same, the same value. Some people, they'll, you know, they'll look at it as a job and other people will look at it as their life. And you want people on your team that are going to be as passionate or even more than you because that's what's going to push you forward. So I'm just out here in no man's land waiting on these quotes, which I followed up for like multiple companies, multiple times. <laughs> we're waiting on the tees. When we get that price, we're probably going to go straight into production, going to get these out quick. I'm probably gonna drive down to Delaware one weekend, which is a freaking long ass drive. We're gonna do, we're gonna have a crazy photo shoot as many places as we can, get as many pictures as we can, get the website set up, throw these things on there, and hopefully we could sell some, sell them to family, sell them to friends, and just get the word out. I believe we're also gonna go to the city and we're gonna visit Nick and James, who, congrats to James, finally moved into the city. He's uh, living with Nick right now. And we're gonna go to the city. We're gonna film some content, have a good time, and we're gonna literally stand on street corners, handing stickers out, and trying to hustle, sell some shirts. I think, hopefully, we could sell some, meet some interesting people, get some good content, and also, I believe James and Nick are starting a YouTube channel. And I'm gonna leave this in the video because I want to hold them to it. They said that they're gonna start vlogging and stuff, and I hope they do. For the past year since we started, we've been trying to like get people, recruit people, tell all of our boys, you know, like start vlogging. Everyone's like, you know, they're like, why? Why would I vlog? Um, and then, you know, now we have 500 subs and it's like, oh, <laughs> I guess it works. The number one thing I can say is just do what you love. You know, like 
there's so many people that they care too much about what other people are gonna think. They have these ideas, they have something they wanna do, and they know they wanna do it, and the only thing holding them back is the opinions of other people. And in a lot of cases, it might even be the opinions of you know your parents or your friends or your family or all of that, and you're kinda worried about how they're gonna look at you and, and all of that. And, and I'm here to tell you, f it. You, you can't listen to that, that's just a bunch of noise. And a lot of people, they mistakenly think that what's holding them back is the haters or the critics or, or any of the negative people. But in reality, the only person holding you back is yourself. And that's the point that I want to drive home. That's the point we've been driving home for a year. If you watch our videos, we say the same exact things, the same principles day in and day out because it's it's about consistency because it's what we believe in it's what we've you know always believed in and we always will believe in and we will always preach it if you're not subscribed please 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 smash that subscribe button we really appreciate it give the video a thumbs up and average dude nation let's fucking get it baby And I sent over <laughs> the files to the other printer last Thursday. I filed up with him like four times to see if I could get the proofs. The proof is basically just what the t-shirt is going to look like. Then you prove it. Then you pay. Then it goes into production. And he's not really responding to me. So I'm about to run out actually to go to another printer that's actually even closer. So I'm going to do that. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm going to bring my camera with me. I'll record in the car a bit. And I will see you there. What is up? I'm back. I just went into the shop and spoke with them about the shirts. Basically, the deal is they're a lot closer. They're literally 10 minutes away. They do all the production in-house. And they're more of what I would say is like a full service kind of place, which basically just means that there's, there's more support. They guide you through the process. Like it was pit to me, you know, we don't just send you on the way with, with you know, the shirts. We kind of, we give you ideas. We make sure you know what we're doing. We educate you as much we can. And, and that's something that is definitely very valuable and is definitely worth, to me at least, especially at this point in the process, a premium over just going somewhere getting shirts um, for yes a good price but with kind of no support so I'm gonna be getting the quotes tomorrow for that and then hopefully it's good hopefully we can move forward this has been dragging out often things drag out and you know my schedule with school and I don't know if I told you guys but I'm actually starting a fraternity uh, Sigma Alpha Mu at URI so that's been taking up a lot of my time and I haven't had as much time as I wanted to to you know get on top of everything and make sure that it happens in a timely manner anyway that's what's going on I'm having a call later with Matt I will see y'all at the call I'm stoked I'm excited average dude nation sorry that we've been repetitive but we're trying to make it happen and we told you we were gonna document the process no matter how boring unfavorable or any of that stuff, and that's exactly what we're doing. So I will see you at the call. So basically, just wanted to like talk about the progress with Rebella for the vlog. So I went to this place, and it's a lot closer than another place. It's like literally in, in town. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, uh, looks like a smaller ish operation, but it's still like they have uh, equipment. Um, all done in house, all of that screen prints and um, embroidery. And uh, the the owner, who is who I met with, her name's Alyssa. She's um, she's pretty young. She's in her twenties. She's a URI alumni. I think she graduated like five years ago. And basically, what I got out of it is that it's a more I don't think boutique's the right word. It's more of kind of a full service type operation uh -huh. so they kind of like care for their customers a little bit more than the other place and because of that and because of the fact that I think they're a little bit smaller than the other places their prices aren't going to be as low mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't actually have the, the full book because you need to adjust some stuff but I want to have like good packaging for even like the first couple that we sell so like we need to figure out like how we're going to package them yeah that's also what I was going to ask you about our only options for small scale packaging are going to be stickers. So you can't get box printed, you can't get like tissue paper printed. So we just got to like 
do something with stickers. So. I mean, we could just do a mailer, honestly. Is that che that's cheaper to ship too, right? Yeah, we could do a white, black, even mailer. We could get a sticker, whatever sticker, circular, square, rectangular. Throw it like over the flap that we seal, and like that's probably the best we could do on that for now. But then when you actually open it. Didn't we talk about like a certificate, of, a COA certificate of authenticity? Yeah, we did. We can do that. And just like something personal. Unless you want to do like the video or like a note or something like that type thing. Yeah, I think that's all we could really do for now. Mm -hmm. And like throw in like a sticker or something. Like yeah. a regular sticker. Wow. So anyway, that's pretty much uh, that's all I got. Me too, man. Cool. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I just made some absolute fire looking pancakes. I'm about to munch down on those. And I'm also reading right now. I'm gonna read Crushing It. I'm about to finish it. Absolute fire book. One thing I wanna say before I end the vlog. So, I've been thinking a lot lately and I've been really thinking about the vision of everything I wanna do, Matt included, this YouTube channel, Rebel, um, all our projects that we're working on really and going through a tough patch right now Matt and I both because you know It's definitely hard to do this and especially where we're at in our lives in college. There's a lot of people who Don't agree with what Matt and I are doing don't see the value of what we're doing don't believe in the vision They don't see it like Matt and I see it, you know, and I think that's very common and I think it's a lot of uh, something that a lot of people who are pursuing their entrepreneurial passions are going to struggle with. The fact that you are the only person that will see this vision for years and years, after all the sacrifices, after all the time you've put in, you'll still be the only one who sees this vision until it comes true. So right now, Matt and I are struggling a little bit with that. We have been for honestly the past year or two since we, since we started like pursuing these types of uh, passions and stuff. And it's just something that you gotta really deal with. It's hard and honestly almost impossible to truly not care what people think um, honestly I do care what people think but the difference is is that I'm not gonna let that stop me I'm not gonna let other people's opinions stop me from continuing to pursue what I want to do I'm not going to quit doing anything that I really enjoy doing like this stuff this is what really makes me happy as compared to like school and all that stuff I'm not going to quit doing this just because somebody else doesn't agree, somebody else doesn't see the vision, they don't see the potential, they don't see where it's going, they haven't put in the work behind everything and really seen the progress over the past year. So what I want you guys to do is realize when you're pursuing any type of activity like this, any type of entrepreneurial activity where you really have a message that you want to pursue and show the world and help people out and provide value for people. When you're working on it, people aren't going to understand it and they're probably not going to agree with it, but as long as you agree with it, as long as you truly believe it in your heart like Matt and I do, you can't stop. Like never, literally never, you can never stop. You have to keep going. Do not let other people's opinions stop you from doing what makes you happy. That's the only way that you'll truly be happy in life and the only way that you won't really have any regrets, I guess you could say. So what I want you guys to do is, if you're doing anything like this right now, just stay strong, keep going, put your head down, put your blinders on, take the punches and just roll with it and keep running because eventually it'll all pay off and you'll be able to tell every single one of those people, hey, I was right, you were wrong, look where I'm at now because you know one day they'll probably be working for you. So. With that being in mind, guys, this is where I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you guys can take something away from this vlog and really take that leap of faith and not let other people's opinions of yourself hold you back. That's straight facts. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Join Average Donation. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Everybody who's new here, thank you for checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next week in the next vlog. Peace, fam.